Hey guys, Max here from AppStoreReviews.com and today we're going to be jumping into a new category for our surprise video Wednesdays. It's not an app review, it's not an unboxing, but rather a technology review of the new HTC Desire. So as you can see here, I put the phone back in its original casing just for unboxing purposes. So I'll go ahead and slide the phone compartment out of here where you will clearly find the phone. So I'm going to go ahead and drop the phone out here if I can do that. As you can see, it's got a beautiful 3.7 inch WVGA touchscreen display with 480 by 800 resolution. Once you go ahead and press the sleep wake button here, it will turn on the phone here where you will find the unlock screen. And as you can see, it's a lot different from the iDevice unlock screen. So basically all you have to do is pull this down here and you'll get to your main home screen. Now um, on the home screen you have seven different pages to put widgets, programs, shortcuts, and folders. On your middle home screen here you've got the time, the weather, where you are, and the date. You've got your four main programs, shortcuts, or folders down here um, and then you can customize that by holding it down. You can drag it to remove or you can drag it to different places. You can also do that you can also do the same with widgets. So here are the seven home screen pages that are here that we customize here. You've got um, this home screen page, you've got your music, you've got news, you've got photos, and back to the middle one here. You've got favorites and you've got, um, you can actually customize all these, but here we have favorites and um, four different applications. Then you've got friend stream, which is basically all your social networking sites combined into one. And then we've got a blank one here where, where we haven't put anything. Now you don't have to slide through each page. Um, you can use the optical D-pad to scroll left and right through the pages. And the optical D-pad also acts as a um, button to select something. So if you're scrolling through contact, say, you can um, press it in to select a contact. So the, so the five buttons you've got down here are the home button and um, that's just to get home from like anything like here. You press it and you're back home. And then you've got your menu button which will bring you here. Those are just six different menu options to um, customize some things. Then you've got your optical D-pad which I talked about before. Then you've got your back button and your search button. So um, the three buttons that you've got down here, the touch buttons, one is to bring up all your programs. The next is for your phone, which I won't open for personal information purposes. And then you've got your plus button here to add different widgets, programs, shortcuts, and folders to your home screen with. Then I'll just go back home here. Now multitasking is a feature on this phone and to do so you hold down the home screen button for maybe um, four seconds and um, six different applications can be running at once and um, those are the six applications running. So um, if you press the home screen button just give it a quick tap while you're on the home screen it will do a kind of expose thing like on a Mac which will give you the um, seven home screen pages and um, you can select one to go to it of course Another way to get to the expose is kind of zooming out and you can kind of get in between there. It's kind of fun to play with that. And then just go back to the main one here. So um, let's take a look deeper into the phone. So you've got all your programs here which um, can also be found by um, just pressing the um, arrow with the circle around it. And um, I'll scroll around with the optical D-pad here. So you've got your all programs, which I mentioned. You've got scenes, and in scenes you can switch between scenes, which I won't show because some personal information may be shown in that. And um, go back here, and then back into the menu, you can add to home, which is also another button that's down there as is. Then you've got your settings here. You can scroll through your settings. Starting from the top, you've got um, your you've got personalized, which you can just customize the phone. You've got wireless networks, call, sound and display, accounts and sync, location, search, privacy, connect to PC, security, applications, SD and phone storage, 
date and time, language and keyboard, accessibility, text to speech, about phone, and that's it. Back into the menu, you've got notifications there, and notifications can also be pulled up by um, just bringing down this um, menu bar up here, and we've got no notifications, so we can just slide that back up there. So um, then you've got your messages, mail, internet, and market here, and I'll show you the internet browsing. It's a very nice internet experience. And it's not as fancy as on iDevices, um, like for instance when you rotate the device. It does have an accelerometer, except when you do rotate, it doesn't um, do a kind of switching motion, just clicks to there. And same kind of zooming stuff as on the iPhone. Here, if you press the menu button while you're in the browser, it'll bring up these six options in the address bar and the menu bar up here. So you can go back, forward, add bookmark, bookmarks, window, more. And um, let's click more and go to the home page, which happens to be Google here. So Google um, actually looks very similar to on the iPhone and iPod Touch and iPad on all iDevices. Um, Google is the same kind of interface on the HTC Desire. And then back to more, you've got find on page, text selection, page info, share page, downloads, history, and settings. Now, unlike old iDevices, this phone does have flash, which is um, a big pro for this phone and a con for all iDevices. Anyways, that's about it for the browser. Alright, so um, as you may have seen before, this phone does have a very nice 5 megapixel camera with LED flash and a nice speaker beside it. And then it says HTC there with Google with HTC Sense. So if I go ahead and launch the camera app here, which is right there. Um, it opens up in landscape mode, and it's a very clear 5 megapixel resolution camera, which is, um, I have to say, it's a little better than the iPhone, only because it has settings like um, you, um, you, can adjust, you can adjust the exposure, the saturation, the contrast, sharpness. You can have a bunch of different effects, which the iPhone does not have. And you can even adjust the white balance, ISO, the resolution, the widescreen, if you want it widescreen or just standard, the quality of the photos, self-timer, which the iPhone doesn't have. You can geotag your photos, metering mode. You've got a bunch of different options here. And then, of course, you've got the flash options here. It's on auto flash. Then you have it on forest flash. And then no flash. So I'll keep it on auto here keep it on auto here and then this button here will allow you to zoom in which is a very it's a very nice zoom feature and then you can browse through all of your photos here and then I'll go back to the home screen here and that's about it for the phone and then on the bottom here you've got your micro SD port and then on the top you've got your power button and your um, 3.5 millimeter jack for headphones there now I'll move on to the box Clearly there, you've got your 8 gigabyte micro SD card, which comes with it. And then opening the bottom up, you've got um, your consumer limited warranty here. Now this is on TELUS, so it might be different for yours. You've got your headphones and charger here. So it's a very nice looking charger. It comes with a USB adapter, actually. And then your headphones do have a microphone and play controls just like the um, Apple headphones. Very nice um, sleek headphone design. And here's your charger, a micro SD charger. This has been an in-depth App Store Viewers technology review of the new HTC Desire.